Found out my cat was embezzling from me. You think you know a cat for 10 years? He pulls something like this. So. Found out while I was away, he would go out to the mailbox, pick up the checks, take them down to the bank and cash them, disguised as me. He had the little kitty arrow through the head. And I wouldn't have caught him, but I went outside to his little house where he sleeps. There was about $3,000 worth of cat toys out there. And you can't return them because they have spit all over them. So now I'm stuck with $3,000 worth of cat toys. Oh, sure. They're fun. <laughs> Got the little rubber mouse has a bell inside of it. Whoa. I guess people realize by now that there's a serious side to me, too. I have my causes to live for. I'm, I'm Steve Martin. See this dump? Someday it's going to be a park. Unless we do something to save it. Dumps like this are disappearing all over America. What are you going to say to your little boy when he comes up to you and says, Daddy, can we go to the dump? We can't, son. They've turned it into a forest. Oh, but Daddy, can't we go play with the rats and vermin? No, son. All they have there now are little bunnies and woodchucks. Hi, I'm Steve Martin. <clears throat> I'd like to talk to you tonight about a serious problem that has reached shocking proportions. I'm talking about parental abuse. We're going to show you now some black and white films that were taken by our hidden cameras. Roll them, please. Here, we see the unsuspecting father returning home after a hard day's work, only to be brutally assaulted by his four-year-old son, who has been made rabid by eating sugary breakfast cereals. Hi, I'm Steve Martin. What you are about to see may shock you. I'm standing in front of one of Southern California's most notorious beaches. Yes, it's one of those kinds of beaches. The kind you've probably read about in your hometown newspaper. If you're ready, let's take a look. As you can see, these people are totally clothed. And what's more, they're not ashamed. They feel that this is the way Mother Nature intended it to be. You might say it's their thing. To them, it's as natural and American as having pumpkin pie on Halloween, turkey at Thanksgiving, or eating apple meat on Whale Day. Hi, I'm Steve Martin. See this? It's money. Money tossed from passing cars by inconsiderate motorists. How much more effort would it have been to take this money and toss it into the garbage can where it belongs? Money litter is everybody's problem. Many people forget that this stuff can be used as fuel to heat our homes. My dolly is stuffed with money. My little Timmy built a raft with it. So you see, millions of Americans are helping every day to clean up... Hey, buddy, take a lesson from the bluebird. Her hair is 